Here's the UK niche zero and the US niche zero. There's um, no difference between them except uh, the US plug and the US motor on the right. The electronics and everything else is identical. Our voltage at the moment, and you won't be able to see the display, is 231 volts. Now, I've measured this step-down transformer, and that means we'll be seeing something like 102 volts, because this transformer's not great on delivering voltage. Um, at about 234, I get only 106 volts. But that shouldn't affect the niche too badly. So we've got 17.99 uh, grams. Let's just double-check it. Yeah, 17.9. I could put an extra bean in, but... Actually, just when on the hundreds are just very let's say 17.97. Let's find out what we get out. Now, the grind has been changed, so this can make it a bit variable sometimes. Um, you know, although you may not be able to tell, I can tell the grind is quite slow because the voltage is low, but the actual uh, power draw is roughly the same because the same amount of work is essentially being done it's slightly less because the work's not being done at the same rate so we'll take we'll stop that it doesn't really take much longer to grind even if the voltage is down at 101 102 volts so what are we now 17.89 and we were 17.97 so we're about point uh eight of a 0.8 of a gram out, which is nothing really. 0.8 of a gram is very good. I'm going to put this in the port filter, then I'm going to pull the shot. So I'm back. Um, I haven't really pulled a shot with this coffee before. It's, I've just changed coffee, so it'll be interested to see where the grind is. I think this coffee would probably be a finer grind than the other, but we'll find out. Yeah, it's pouring a little bit early, which means that I probably need a finer grind on that. Yeah, much finer. So what I would do, and it's um, coffee that's been hanging around a while. How I'd adjust the grind on the niche, when I see it about that fast, I know that probably I could do with one two notches, two marks at least, and maybe a little bit more. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I've gone a bit finer. We've got 18.03 um, grams. We'll pop that in and close that up and we'll grind it. So we've got 18.03 grams. And we'll see if this pours a little bit better. When I said the coffee was new to me, I didn't mean new to me. It's been opened a while ago and left. And I um, basically forgot to drink it. And I, I can't remember how it grinds exactly. So I'll pop it on the scales. And 17.96 is 18.03. So 0 0.07 of a gram. And uh, we'll get that in the porter filter and try another shot. See how that works out. Okay, so I went uh, a couple of marks finer on the niche, and we'll just see how it pours this time. May not have been enough. I mean, I may have needed three marks or even slightly more. Um, I went just over two. But what we're looking for is drips at the end of this low pressure phase on the machine. Yeah, it could be about right. Because the shots normally run for about 40 odd seconds. That still seems too fast. Yeah, it's way too fast. So we'll stop this shot and I'll go finer still. Um, let's get let's get on the niche. And judging by the difference two marks made, I'll go another couple of marks. So I'm four marks finer, which you know, see how that works out.
Okay, I've ground the new setting. I didn't bother filming all that. As I say, I've gone two marks finer from the last time I adjusted twice finer. So I'm four times finer than the previous coffee. The previous coffee was much darker than this. This is very light roast coffee and uh, does require a pretty fine grind. But we'll see how this comes out. As I say, it should hit the high pressure phase, and as that starts, you know, the pressure starts ramping, we should see the coffee coming out. Yeah. I don't know. I might have to go fractionally finer. This is certainly in the ballpark. But it just shows for people who are worried about how much um, accuracy there was and how finely you could adjust grind. This is a good four marks finer than on a coffee that was just roasted a bit darker and I could still go 42, 43 seconds. I could still go a fraction finer. I still got a bit more volume. So, you know, for this coffee, probably five marks of adjustment, which is a fair bit just for a medium compared to a light roast. So that's pretty good. Plenty of adjustability there. A bit of video, it's just handheld without the gimbal. We're at 238 volts. We were 230 when I was doing the test. Someone must have had, I don't know, the nation had their kettles on. 237, 238 volts. As you can see, the thing's only outputting um, 108 volts. Yeah. So, 238, 108. So when I was down at 230, I was probably at 100 volts. Um, however, the niche does work fine. It was tested down at 96 volts. Uh, and the grinding speed difference is, is minimal. The main issue is whether it clears the chamber, which it does, as you saw with the uh, dose variance.